give a royal welcome to our maestro of musical madness, Sir Samuel of Morocco. And now, lords and ladies, good gentles all, please welcome those loquacious lovers of legends and law. of voluminous verbosity as they portray a panoply of personalities under this preeminent proscenium. Please welcome Mr. Smythe and Mr. Jones. I thought it might be a good idea to, you know, set the mood. Set the mood? Uh, me. And how long have you been speaking French? Well, what time is it now? That's what I thought. <laughs> Actually, it's time for you to introduce a royal visitor. Yes? Oui. My time, monsieur. It's the deepest pride and greatest pleasure that we welcome you today. And now, we invite you to give a warm welcome to our royal guest, the Zee one only. one and only. Mademoiselle. Mademoiselle Belle. Oh, bonjour, Mr. Jones and Mr. Smythe. Ah, bonjour, and welcome to the Royal Theatre. Why, thank you. I am so excited to be here and help tell my story. Oh, as are we. In fact, we shall be playing most of the roles in your story. I shall pretend to be Gaston. And I shall pretend to be the Beast. And you shall pretend to be Belle. But I am Belle. <laughs> and you will be marvelous. Oh, why, thank you. I'm sure you'll be marvelous as well. Oh, did you hear that? Another rave review when we haven't even begun! And so, we begin! Places, please. A scene in the village. Once upon a time, there was a delightful demoiselle named Belle. And it was on this particular morning that you made your way through your small provincial town, book in hand. Places. Magic spells, daring tools, heroes in disguise, and tumbling ever afters. Well, little did Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Oh, I am so sorry. I promise I won't keep stopping. What is it? Well, it's Gaston. Oh, yes, Mr. Jones is pretending, pretending to, to be, be Gaston. Gaston. I know. It's just that, well, Gaston had much bigger muscles. <laughs> Well, 
he wasn't very bright. Jack! <laughs> All right, let's take it back to my line. Let little Belle know that today would be her lucky day. Hello, Belle. Oh, hello, Gaston. Oh, let you be to know that today would be your lucky day. Oh, uh, book fairs in town. No. No. Oh, well, I know. Jean-Marie, the Prince de Beaumont, is here for a book signing. Uh, no. I know. Free turkey legs for everyone. And what do you know about my dreams, Gaston? Well, I... Actually, Gaston knew nothing about Belle's dreams. All he really knew was, I'm the most eligible bachelor in the village. I'm strong, I'm handsome, I'm derriere. Debonair, exactly. I make all the ladies swoon. Not all the ladies. Ah, uh, yes, there was one exception. Barely the most beautiful girl in the village, which makes you the best. And don't I deserve the best? I'm sorry, Gaston. I just don't deserve you. <laughs> well, she's right about that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Was that a yes? Uh, no. But not to worry. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Matter of fact, I know a lovely young lady. Redhead. Nice set of fins. I'll oh, have Belle for my wife. Make no mistake about that. Hey, let's go find him. if you will. A young lady embarking on a nocturnal quest. Fleeing in fright through the forest, she comes upon a dark and mysterious castle. Little does she know she is about to enter the beastly zone. wants to live with a beast, but good for Lumiere and Cogsworth the Mrs. Potts, because maybe she'll break the spell and they can all be human again! Huzzah! Huzzah! You see, the beast was once a handsome prince, but because of his selfishness, a spell was cast upon him. And all of us who lived in the castle, as for the rules, it was put under a spell. He continued to prove until this, the prince's 21st year. As you can see, the pebbles have already begun to fall. But if the beast can learn to love another, and learn her love before the last petal falls, then the spell will be broken and we'll all be human again. 
again. If not, he will remain a beast for all time. What's the use? She'll never see me as anything but a monster. And perhaps the way to help us sees the good in you. But how? Well, to begin with, you must learn to be kind and courteous. You simply must behave like the prince you really are. Unfortunately for us, we have the kingdom's three leading experts in princely behavior with us today. This will never work. Oh, you must try for all our sakes. You must try. We, we, and we will not help you. Number one, the royal bow. Place your left foot behind your right. Slide your right foot forward. Put your left hand in. Put your right hand out. Then you do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. Wee oui, wee, oui, that's what it's all about. See my monkey. I'm the thief. And finally, every fairy tale must end with the royal kiss. Oh, play it, Sir Samuel. Gentlemen, are you ready? Yes, I can do this. For Belle. Madame Monsieur, please welcome the charming and delightful Mademoiselle Belle. The beast's heart was pounding. How could he begin to tell her how he felt? He knew for certain that he loved her. Belle, I'm sorry I behaved like a...
last petal fell from the rose, it seemed the spell would never be broken. That is, until magic began to rain from the sky. Like shooting stars, sparkles of light fell from above. Rising from the ground, and the beast appeared to float before Belle's eyes. And he began to change. What had been a hideous beast was now transforming. And from the power of true love, at long last, the spell.